Island is here and it's insane amount of gold. And you can get an account wide swimming fusion and a new skin that is supposed to be, uh, you know, very original, but it's actually just a reskin of another one. But let's see what this is. Subscribe to the channel for more on this. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So, for this event, you're going to get a little mail here. It's going to tell you where to go. Uh, right here, adventures are you locked, uh, all stocked on mystery keys, but lacking unlocks. Looking, looking to diversify your loot streams, you hate the crate. And you can just go in here, go to Dive Master Astora, right on Alliance Arch. It'll tell you where to go. And they will show you all the things that you can buy from the infusions, which are essentially account-wide infusions. But the thing is, you don't actually go, have to go for them. You can just grab these infusions that you get from the chest that we're going to do for the event, and you can sell them through a trading post, giving you an insane amount of gold per hour. As you can see right here, uh, actually, there we go. Let me just go into my VOD. Uh, you can see that I made, um, let me just, uh, where did I left it? Oh, no. There we go. We can see that I was making around 112 gold per hour, actually a bit more. Uh, there we go. Yeah, one total gold per hour there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, this run takes you around 10 minutes to do. You just go around getting this chest, and I'm going to tell you how it actually you actually do it. Um, but it's super easy. It's super, super, super easy. And you just sell them to the rainbows. You get your gold. Uh, and, you know, in one hour, you're going to make like 100 gold. Now, of course, you need these keys in order to open them. And the way that you get these keys is by killing crates every day, uh, which you can do in fractals. People usually get them from that. Or uh, you can also go to this little gamer here, the Astora, the person with the um, actual events. You can go to the trade thing and get ornated rusted key exchange, and you can buy 10 every week. And you should be definitely doing this. Uh, this is essentially 10 gold for a bit of karma. Very, very worth doing. Then you go into your key, as you can see here, ornate rusted key. And then you just, whoop, it will tell you where to go. And then on the next body of water, you'll be able to um, actually... Um, uh, get the chest now everyone is doing it but right now i'm guessing that it's not going to be too hard to understand where these actually things are uh, because uh people are going to be swarming around the the chest from you know the next few days and i would definitely encourage you to waste to use all of your keys right now so you don't actually because the prices are going to go down right they're definitely definitely going to go down um now if you are actually alone what's going to end up happening is that whenever you go to the chest there's going to be a few veteran crate that are going to try and attack you. What you can actually do is press, you know, before you actually go in combat, you can press open and then go into your key and open it and it will make you invulnerable for the duration of you getting the key, which is actually pretty good. In that way, you don't actually have to kill the um, the crate. You just have to do this a few times and you start getting some weekly, achieve, uh, some weekly achievements. This event will last for exactly one week. You can see that you can get this infusible acrobator box, the account swim speed infusion that I can have another video on it, uh, but essentially it makes you faster on um, on um, on your character and other characters that have this infusion as well. And you also get a special weapon right here uh, that you can see here. It looks pretty cool. And according to the wiki, this is a weapon that is unavailable until now. The problem is that even though it is unavailable, it is also shares the same uh, skin as this other weapon called Alirkaska. Uh, you can see right here, it's uh, essentially the same one. A bit smaller uh, and a bit more grayer. So you can decide if it's worth getting or not. Uh, but the account of swimming fishing is definitely worth it. And the amount of gold that you get is definitely worth it. Uh, you can actually use some trails. I'm using right now the re reactive pack uh, from Blish HD to actually know where these uh, things are. I don't know why it's not showing. It should be showing right here where it is. Uh, but once you do it one time, um, uh, you know, and, and you know where to go, you'll probably have no problems uh, getting the, um, the chests at all, right? Uh, you'll see where they are. Uh, you'll know exactly the posi position of them, and you'll be okay. And you can do this run in around 10 minutes, giving you a lot of gold. Now, I probably will leave um, a little bit of a I uh, a, no a non-listed video of my run, uh, so you guys can see if there's anything you're missing out on. You can also go to the wiki, and it will actually show you um, uh, the places where they actually are at. You can go check on Sunken Chest, click on them, and you know you can. Uh, See more or less where they are. Uh, they will give you also the POIs. You can copy and place this POIs in the chat. Uh, and it will tell you exactly where they are. And this is way easier. Uh, as, as Of course. Uh, and also I will say that. There is one little thing that is kind of bothering me about this uh, particular event. Is that I was trying to do them. The chest in a different order. 
than it was supposed to be done. As of course the keys will tell you where to go, uh, and this and it would not let me. Uh, if I did this, it would essentially let tell me that the key, that the chest was not being opened because I didn't have the key for that chest, which seems weird. It seems like a bug and unintentional. Uh, but if that happens to you, just open, you know, click on the key that you have. It'll tell you where to go. Go for that chest instead, and it probably will work. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty good, pretty good gold per hour. Uh, pretty nice, and I really, yeah, I think uh, I think it's very good. Uh, the spreading exploits, the Verner program is going to love this. Dude, it's not my fault that you guys make you invulnerable when you do that. That's just using the mechanics normally, okay? I'm not calling on that one. I'm not, I'm not, dude, if they want that to not be the case, they should probably, you know, tell us not to do it. That's not an exploit. That's just an intended mechanic of the, uh, of the system. I'm not falling for that one, okay? I'm not falling for that one. You said, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Oh no, guys, you skipped the little veteran crate. No, that is boring. You just, just skip it. Who cares, okay? But yeah, keep going. <laughs> keep going and get those um, dead those keys. Use them all, honestly. Just if you have them, um, use them now before the prices go down. Uh, this farm will probably keep being very good because of the value of the actual infusions and how many you need to actually get the account worth infusions. But it's probably going to drop down a good amount. Okay? So definitely, definitely think about that one, right? Uh, definitely think about that one. Uh, so just do it all day, lose all your keys, and then also by the one, uh, the one. By the way, uh, there's a few fractals you're gonna have to do for the actual event. Uh, this sunken chest uh, will only appear once the last boss is done. So you're gonna have to do a whole run to actually get it. And as you can see right now, uh, in order to get the 30 points, I'm doing the same run of the open world ones over and over again, and it is actually working. You don't actually have to go for the fractals. Uh, it, it, they, it does give you more keys, which I would definitely encourage you to get. Um, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But you can also do it on tier 1, so it's not really that big of a deal. Pretty cool event, though. I wish the weapon wouldn't have uh, been just a reskin. <laughs> that would have been that would have been nice. <laughs> um, and if it was a reskin, I wish it was just a different actual color instead of the same one okay because <laughs> it's kind of it kind of sucks that it's just the same color it's almost like if you would have gone for like a red color or i don't know a blue color not just a different shade of gray right i think that's that's a bit dumb okay <laughs> uh but look it's a cool weapon you should get it anyways um it'll count for your collection regardless and you know getting more spear collection spears uh, skins it's probably a good idea considering that we're gonna get spears uh land spears very soon i actually i uh, will do a special uh, special episode of um serial completionist where i get all of the spear skins and uh, that's definitely gonna be very fun uh but until then there you go that's that's all i have for you today go get those keys go farm them and subscribe to the channel go to my twitch live to watch me live doing this keys of course and see you guys around love you all bye bye